Now the first field we're gonna use is the anchor field. So the anchor will allow us to specify which kind of uh, chunks we want to stay in place. So if we go to our blueprints, you will see you have the BP anchor field. And we can actually create a collection like my favorite fields. We don't need really need to use all of them. But let's put the anchor here because I'm sure you, we will use it several times. So if you play this, you will see that immediately it starts when I play. So let me put the player start here. And if I click play, the game starts and we have the destruction. So we don't really want that. Um, so this is where the anchor fields come from. If we take a look at the blueprint, let's take a look at the construction script. Oops, let's put the components somewhere else. Abort mission, open it again. There you go. So if we take a look at what it does, it basically um, it sets a box fall off, which is this, this box here. Like, let me drag this into the map. This box, okay. This box has a fall off, okay. So this fall off is basically a gradient you will use, so so that everything that this box touches. like here won't be able to move okay and you also have the fall off which will allow you to have like a smooth transition between some pieces that may be neighbors so you can have a more smooth transition in your simulation right uh, this is what the fall off will do okay and we get, of course, the work transform of this one. And then what we put is the calling field to be outside, outside the box. Okay, this is the calling field, which is basically our area. Okay, our input field. Okay, the target, which is the calling field. Then you got the field nodes. And then you ch change here the dynamic state, okay? So, how we use this, if we put this in the world right now, let's just scale this, let's scale this one. Let's play. It doesn't work. And the reason is, uh, we haven't told the geometry collection that this one should be attached to this one. So, the way we do this is if we go to our chaos, we will go to our initialization fields, click plus, and here we can pick our anchor point. So we can pick this one. Now when we hit play, you will see that we have all these meshes here. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now, nothing falls because everything is connected. Let me try to remove the, let me put something like 250, 2500 for the force. So let's just try experiment. I'm not sure if this will work, but let's try to put our third person character here. Okay. And let's put it in the world settings, go to our third person game. So now when we play, let's try to jump. Okay, this one doesn't really work. But what we can do is to simulate a big shape, like a sphere, something like this. We can make it big. And here in details, we will put enable physics. 
and the mass will be like 25,000 super heavy movable okay so we put like this and then play okay this one doesn't work with this one um, so how we can destroy this is we need to use another force and it by using another force we will be able to apply different forces to this one so we can destroy it so if I remove this one it's still attached to this one but it's very far away from it so it doesn't influence it so if you put it here we can kind of have it like this you can put like this and then the anchor field you can put something like this so by doing this you will be able to basically uh, anchor the bottom part so it doesn't destroy okay so in our next steps we will see how we can apply the force fields but now that we have this and uh, now we can have a different simulation here and you can see that this one will break at the beginning and this one will not okay